got the best of me on this one. Now, I don't buy a lot of extravagant things, but I had to try this one. Let's swatch it and do a look with it. By the way, it doesn't feel heavy, and I'm pretty sure that this is just plastic to the inside. Look how little. I love the color story, but those are small pans. I'm just going to start swatching some colors, and I figured I would just swatch on my face. Oh, oh, that's actually not bad. So far, I'm actually impressed. Here's some of the mattes. Go right underneath. Okay, but that's pretty good. Watching the purple. This pretty gold shift. Another matte. Dang! Cream color over here. Oh, that one didn't do so well. Last but not least, we'll swatch this. That one did better. Now remember, this is without any primer. I'm going to put some eye primer on and we'll do a different look on each eye. I have to have this blue shade all over my lid. Press that on. Yep, no patchiness. I love that shade. Let's throw this shimmer on the other lid. Press it on there. That's beautiful. Let's grab this shade for the blue eye. Press it into the crease. Grabbing a little bit of this shade, and I'm gonna press that right on top of the darker shade. I'm not gonna lie, these mattes are blending like a dream. Now let's grab the black and press that right above the silver. Add this shade, just kind of warm it up a bit. We're really just seeing how the colors work together. Last but not least, we'll apply this shade here and here. Final verdict. Did I enjoy it? Yes. I enjoyed using this immensely. Will I use it again? Yes. Lots, actually. It's beautiful, but I'm still not going to say that it's worth $150.